Hi, in this video I'll show you how to set up an email signature for all users in Exchange 2010. I start from accessing Exchange Management Console. From the menu I expand Organization Configuration, choose Hub Transport and click New Transport Rule. In this wizard I can configure a new transport rule which will append the email signature. I start with writing a name for the rule. Enable rule box should be checked out so that the rule will be active immediately after I set it up. In this window I decide when the signature will be added to emails. I want it to be appended when the email is sent from inside my organization to anyone. In here I have to check append disclaimer text and fallback action. Below I click disclaimer text. In this new window I have to specify the text and appearance of my email signature. To save some time I've prepared the HTML code of the signature beforehand. Instead of actual names and data I use Active Directory attributes and closed within double percent symbols. Thanks to that the signature will be automatically filled with the right user's data. In the video description I provided links to a list of Active Directory attributes and to free HTML signature templates if you have a problem with designing one on your own. Now I can choose what happens if Exchange cannot attach their email signature to an email, which is true for encrypted messages. I choose Wrap, which sends a message with only my signature. The original content is sent as an attachment to the new mail. I could also choose Reject, which would block sending encrypted messages, or Ignore, which would simply send them without the signature I've just set. The next step is defining exceptions. In other words, when the email signature should not be sent. I will add IT department here to help them remain undercover. Maybe I'll make a different email signature for them later. Now I click Next and New and the rule should be active right away. I'll check whether it actually works the way it should. Sending an email should confirm that. It seems that everything is in order. Mind that although this method works well, there are some limitations to it. For example, those email signatures cannot be inserted directly under replies or forwards and will not be visible in sent items folder. The only way to overcome those and more limitations is to use a third party software like Code2 Exchange Rules. Click the link in the screen to learn more. Thanks for watching.